So in this one here, we have the region R as else in this diagram here, and I annotate it. So we have that dotted line, horizontal red line, dotted red lines, y equals three, and the horizontal dotted red line is y equals minus three. And then we have the vertical, x equals minus one and x equals two plus one. And the important part is the equation of this red line here, which is the hypotenuse. That's y equals minus two x plus one. Or alternatively, we need x is equals to minus one half times y plus one half. Note that the regions R can be described either as the collection of xy, where now we take y to be the chosen variable. So y ranges from minus one to plus one. And then x goes from minus one up so th to this line, which is minus one half y plus one half which gives us the limits of the first double integral, or we can write this as a collection of xy, such that now x is the chosen variable, or it will be the integration, the outer integration with respect to dx, with limits between minus one and plus one, and then y ranges from minus one to minus two x plus one, which gives us the limits of the second double integral. So starting with the first one, we want to find y2, y1, x2, x1, where, of course, the variable y is chosen so that the limits of the outer integrals, the limits are going to be constants, and the limits of the inner integrals will be function of y. Well, in that case, we describe the region as follows, as y between minus 1 and 3, so that gives us those limits, and then x is between minus 1 and minus 1 half of y plus 1 half. So our setting up this double integral, the limits, the outer limits, we're integrating with respect to dy is y equals minus 1 and 3, and the inner integral is between x equals minus 1 and x2 is equals minus 1 half plus one half y minus one plus one now or we can rewrite this where now the last integral or the outer integral is respect to dx so the variable x is chosen and so the limits of the last integral x1 and x2 are the constants and then the x the y2 and y2 now, our functions of x, well, in that case, our region is simply described as a second description. Well, x is between minus 1 and 1, and y is between minus 1 and minus 2x plus 1 half, which is the standard equation of the red line. So our limits of integration passes through to be x equals minus 1 to 1, and then the first integral is between y equals minus 1 and y2 upper limit is minus 2x plus 1 half. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to drop me a line. I think that should do it. Happy New Year's.